Hello everyone, I'm Zhen Wang, an associate professor at Sun Yat-sen University. Now let me present our work for you. This is a joint work with my great collaborators from Damo Academy and Renmin University of China. Our research is about the neural scaling law in node classification tasks and how to exploit the data pruning strategy to improve this scaling. Particularly, we conduct our study on web scale graphs. As you can see, in recent years, observing and analyzing the neural scaling laws of deep neural networks have attracted much attention from both academia and industry. However, existing works mainly focus on data modalities, such as images and text. Well, graph data, which are ubiquitous in practice, have somewhat been ignored in node classification tasks. It is commonly the case that there is one large graph, and both the training and test nodes are accessible. The huge difference lies in that it is possible to exploit the test nodes in selecting helpful training nodes. During the training phase of a machine learning pipeline, even though the labels of test nodes are unavailable at that point, there have been lots of results, both theoretical and empirical, show that in some general cases, the performance of a deep neural network scales with the number of training examples under a power law. When the training examples are redundant, such as the training nodes in a web scale graph, it is natural to consider pruning some of them while keeping the same or at least comparable performance for the learned model. Research in this line mainly considers two kinds of principles, hardness and diversity. In our paper, we first try to answer the question whether GNN also follows a power law scaling in typical node classification tasks. Uh, our According to this figure, our answer, our answer is yes. Uh, such results motivate us to explore data pruning methods to improve the sample efficiency of training graph neural networks for node classification. Then we apply several sort of data pruning methods on these three graphs. We conduct a comprehensive analysis of the results to understand the commonality of successful and failed methods. Our methods, uh, with such a principle, we design our method, which outperforms existing methods in all these three settings. For more details, please check out our paper. Thank you.